Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Pixel Lab. We have a quick little tip today on how to make a light flicker. So there's a lot of ways that you could use this, maybe a dingy hallway with a flickering light. I actually did something with lightning not too long ago where the light's sort of flickering on and off. Get some really cool moody looks doing this. So let's figure out how we can do this. So you can think of it kind of like a vibrate tag where um, something's kind of randomly pulsing but the uh, vibrate tag is only position scale and rotation. So if we add a light, we're gonna have to find a way to drive the intensity so that it flickers up and down. So the way we're gonna do that is with a little piece of espresso. So don't get too scared about the espresso. It's gonna be very basic. So let's right click on our light, go to Cinema 40 tags and go to espresso. And that is going to add a little tag and a pop-up window. So we're going to drag our light into our espresso window. And just like if you made a material, and if we added a noise into it, and then you go into the noise and you go to the animation speed and kick that up, and um, if we go right click and animate, you can see that the noise is generating black and white and it's kind of flickering. We're gonna use noise in Expresso to drive the, uh, the intensity. So we're just gonna search for noise and we'll drag that in here. So now we need to link up the noise with the light's intensity. So we'll drag our output from the noise and we'll drag it onto the blue and then nothing's gonna happen until you let go and then it'll drop down a window. Then you can go to general and let's see, intensity. All right, so now they are linked up and if we hit play and then actually let's add some more frames here. All right, let's go to our light and we'll see what's going on. So you can see that the intensity is now um, kind of pulsing up and down, but a lot of what's going on in the beginning is all negative. So what we wanna do is go to the noise and we have a, a uh, option for positive only, so it won't go into the negative. So if we check that and then hit play, the cool thing is you can actually see the pulsing in your viewport. So if you look at this light, you can see it's sort of slowly flickering on and off. So if we go back to that light, you can see that now we're all in the positive direction and it's slowly pulsing. So now it's just a matter of going to your noise and playing with the scale, frequency, and amplitude. So uh, frequency is pretty obvious, it's just gonna pulse faster. All right, so amplitude, if we drop that down to say 0.1, and then we go to our light and see what it's doing, we're just getting the really low parts of that intensity. Um, so this is basically just how extreme you want the intensity to be. If we kick this up to two and look at our light, it's on the higher end and even going past 100%. All right, so that is how we would do that with a light. Now there's a couple other scenarios that we could use this also. So let's say that you are lighting with an HDRI. So we have a cube in here, let's say, put a floor in here. And we'll go ahead and add a HDRI and we'll fire up our octane. So if we wanna go ahead and throw a HDRI into here, we'll just search for an HDRI and throw it in. All right, so let's say that we want to light this cube only with the HDRI. So what we can do is right click and go to Cinema 4D Tags Expresso, and we're gonna get that pop-up window and an Expresso tag. So what you can't do is drag the sky into here. Let's go ahead and add a noise and the sky. You'll notice that if we go to the sky, we're not gonna be able to find the correct um, property. So let's delete that. And instead we wanna drag the tag into here because the tag has this power slot. So then we can drag our noise into the environment and we can find our, uh, let's see here, power. So that's gonna be the same thing as intensity on the light is the power of this HDRI. So we can go back to our noise, we'll do positive only. And now if we play this, you can see that we're gonna start getting a little bit of flickering. Let's go ahead and kick up the frequency a little bit and maybe kick up the amplitude, see what that looks like. So there you go, a couple quick tips on how to have things flicker in Cinema 4D. I hope that you guys found that useful. As always, thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time.